Milton. Good boy. Good boy. Morning guys, happy Easter. Since we're getting such a late start, no time for talking, only time for shaking. Oh my God, it's pink lemonade again. Like you don't know how much I dug around to actively avoid pink lemonade. The thing is, I love pink lemonade. It's just, if I drink them all up front, I know I'm not gonna have any on the back end. Like, how do I keep drawing pink lemonade? You guys, like, I'm not complaining, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right guys, we gotta shake, we gotta move in three, two, one. To getting back on track. Oh, oh, and the best way to do it is with a pink lemonade zip fizz. All right guys, let's go. just left the gym incline treadmill my starting incline was a five this time uh, it's just it's getting easier to the point where a three feels like I'm not walking at an incline so I have to crank it up to a five in order to recognize that I'm walking at an incline okay guys so if you follow me on Instagram uh, you will know that I have been struggling I mean not only this past week specifically this past week but I kind of just feel like I've been struggling the whole year yes I know I had surgery in January and February but I really just haven't been feeling like myself I haven't felt strong or disciplined like when I was first losing weight, I literally remember that keto felt like such a relief. It was, oh my God, I can finally eat this food that I love and I'm still losing weight and it was great. And now it just seems like such a struggle. It's like, even though I'm eating the same amount of food, I'm still so hungry all the time. So that delicious meatball meal prep that I made last week, I ate it for three days and then the past three days have just been horrible it's just like oh let me just go get some cookies or let's go get something like i have not been keto i have not really been following any sort of plan and i was really struggling to figure out why but i i think what it comes down to is that 95 percent of the time I take comfort in my plan. I take comfort in my meal prep because it eliminates my choices. And that's what I need in order to feel sane. But then like the other 5% of the time, it's just so exhausting. Like it's exhausting to constantly have to weigh and measure and count and figure out how much you're supposed to be eating. And sometimes it's just like, I wanna be normal. I don't wanna have to think about this so much. Like I wanna just be able to like go eat like a normal amount of food without having to think about it, without having to meticulously plan it. Because if I don't, I know that I'll end up binging. You know, it's like, I just want to feel regular and not have to put so much effort into this. But you guys, you know what? I'm not regular. <laughs> and a lot of us aren't, and we know that. Like we don't view food like typical people. It's like, oh, food is just there or it's not. I eat it or I won't. And it's cool, that's not us. It's, it's always nagging, eat more, eat delicious food. Food is so good, eat because it makes you feel good. Like that's not typical you guys, but that's okay because we have the tools that we can use in order to conquer those feelings. And it takes effort to use those tools. And this week I was just like sick of putting in the effort. So this week I am more determined to be disciplined. And that's, and look you guys, like I'm starting small. I just want to go six days in a row eating my meal prep, you know? <laughs> like that's it, no other goal. Make six days worth of food eat six days worth of food and only that. So start small, make a plan of exactly what you're gonna eat and then just eat that. And even when you wanna eat something else, don't, okay? Like chew a piece of gum, drink some water for God's sake, you know? Like just don't be disciplined. I'm, I'm telling this to myself, but like you too, if you need to hear it, but like, just don't, there's no reason. You are stronger, just don't. And I don't mean to get all emotional and stuff, but you know how hard it is, like when something that used to feel so easy now feels difficult. 
and you get scared that it's like, why can't I do this? I've already done it once. Why can't I do it again? And you start to think that you'll never be able to do it. And that is, that's really scary. And I know that's not true. I just know, but it's just hard to think about every day. <sighs> But the good thing is, like, I know what I have to do. I just, I know it, and you just have to do it. And I'm going to do it, and you're gonna do it. Like, no matter how tough it feels, or how many days you've been off track up to this point, just stop and decide and do it. And that's just really what I have to do, and that's just really what I want to do, because I hate the feeling of disappointing myself, you know? And I hate the feeling of knowing that I'm better than this, but just in, in each moment just giving in to temptation. I hate that. So I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that I am committed to six days. So like, that's all I can promise. I am going to eat what I made for six days and then we'll come out on the other side and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I've talked for way too long. <laughs> I am going to get to Meyer. So this week for meal prep, you guys, I don't know if it was the bacon and eggs and cheese that was causing my bathroom issues. They're still kind of there. They're still kind of not. So I'm going back to basics, to what I love. And that's going to be one of the ways that helps me stay on track is truly eating the food that I love. So I'm having bacon, eggs, and sausage for meal number one. For meal number two, those meatballs last week were so good. And thank you for all of the sausage suggestions, which... I'm gonna do it again. So basically, instead of meatballs, because really, I didn't need to put in the extra effort of rolling them things into balls. Like, I was like, I could just eat ground beef with marinara and cheese, and it's gonna be delicious. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna get some ground beef and ground pork. I'm gonna season it with some sausage-like spices, and I am going to have like a meatball bake or like a marinara bake, and I'm very excited about that. Woo! Okay, enough of that. Like, come on, guys. Like, it's okay. Have a breakdown. Everyone deserves a little breakdown every now and again. But get it together. Just, just wrap it back up and get back to the plan. So, that's what we're doing. We're on our way to Meyer, And we got this. We got this, you guys. Let go. done with meal prep I am in the car I'm on my way to my aunt's house for Easter dinner uh, I have no idea what's gonna be there but I'm excited to hang out with my family then I'm headed to the shop because I always have some hours worth of work to do on Sundays uh, and then I will come back home and show you what I made for meal prep 
My Aunt Beverly, for as long as my sister and I have been born, so that's like a good 33 years here on this earth, she has made me and my sister Easter baskets. And I will say that the older we've gotten, the smaller they have gotten, but the sentiment is always there. And this year, mom, did you see? Look, look what's in them. Oh, Quest Bar. And Quest Bar, and look behind it. Cash. Cash, and look behind oh. it. I, I was just like, oh my god, it's like a keto Easter basket. Keto Cadbury eggs too. Oh, oh no, gosh. exactly. The Cadbury eggs are not keto. Oh, wow. They're, they're probably going to be enjoyed. I'm not going to lie. Cadbury eggs are my jam. Comment down below. Number one, what are your thoughts on Cadbury eggs? Either your team Cadbury egg or not. Also, what are some of your Easter traditions? Like we've literally been doing this my yes, whole life. Forever. I know, right? Okay. Hey, the Easter Bunny's stepping it up with cash. I know. She's Woo. been she's been giving us money for a while now, yes. so I like that. Okay, that's it, that's it. Oh. Merry Easter. Oh. No, no, <laughs> Merry Easter. Okay, I am about to leave here and off to the shop. Okay guys, I am back home from the shop, from my aunt's house. So let's see what we have for meal prep. This week, in order to set myself up for success, I've decided to keep it super simple. Eggs, bacon, sausage for meal number one, Meal number two is this awesome lasagna type casserole thing that I have. I'm gonna top with some more Italian cheese and some Parmesan cheese, some more of that Rayo sauce. For a snack, I've been really enjoying the pepperoni chips that I have. And then for desserts, I have my drinks and I have my Jello. I know this morning started off kind of rough, <laughs> but I am feeling a lot better and, and I feel even more determined to get back on track. Be sure to watch my What I Eat Wednesday video to see how I put it all together, but I can do it and you can do it. If you're struggling, just know you are not the only one, but all we have to do is make up our mind and prepare and set ourselves up for success. That's it. We can do it and that's what we're doing this week. We're getting back to basics. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week. Six days.